Greetings, people of the internet. This is Chibi Keef again with more Sonic CD, but this time we have a bonus episode right now. I wanted to show off what you can unlock after you beat the game. See right here, once you uh, beat the game at least once, you can actually play as Tails. Tails works like he does like in Sonic 3. You can make him fly for a certain amount of time until his tails, of course, get tired. So he's... He's pretty much Sonic, except he can just fly. Except he cannot do the peel A like Sonic can. And that's pretty much it. You don't see the cutscene when you start with Tails though, because you know Tails, it's not Tails CD. But yeah. So if you wanted to replay the game and with a little bit new variety, Try out Tails, because Tails is actually a lot of fun to play with. Let's see if I can go in. No, can't go in the future. Just kind of goof it around. But anyway, that was all I wanted to show you for that. Just a cool little thing you can do. Tails was not originally supposed to intended in the original game. He's an addition for this port created by Christian Whitehead, what you see right there on the screen. But yeah, and now let's get into some other gist that this game also has for you to do after you beat the game. We have a time attack mode. Time attack mode is basically just beating all the stages really quickly. You can replay all the stages to get and try to get faster times. So one, two, three, and it has this for all the zones. It's not just the main zone of the game. You can also play the special stages as well to practice if you wanted to try to unlocking those time stones. So it's a good little practice. Anyway. Now that we're done, I could show you off the gist of the soundtrack. Here you could have actually switched here between the US and the Japanese version right here, which I just did right now. The song's okay. Let's go back to that JP. Japanese pop. <laughs> and now we're going to some extras. These extras are not unlocked. Are not unlocked until you do certain requirements for the game. These all require you to beat time attack mode, your total time attack mode in a certain while. And it can be very frustrating unless you do a lot of practice in your time attack. But I'm going to show them off. This is DA Garden. DA Garden is basically a little area that has a little planet. And you can see Tails flying on his tornado. Some flickies. And here you can actually zoom out. Zoom in. And like, zoom in. I thought I saw a metal song just there. Yeah, that's a pretty neat thing. And it's also you can listen to some of the stage music. And you can only listen to... You can also switch to the good future music. The bad future music. And just... But you cannot listen to the past music for some reason. Which is very odd. But you can listen to... All pretty much the gist of the majority of the soundtrack. That was all I wanted to show there. Oh wait, hold on, sorry. I have to go back here. If you actually uh, switch to Good Future, it'll actually change the entire planet into the Good Future version of what it's supposed to look like in Good Future. You can also do the same thing for this for the Bad Future version. Alright, that was one of the show. It's a pretty neat little detail. Alright, next extra up up ahead, up, if I can pick it, is visual mode. Visual mode is the cutscenes you will, the cutscenes that are out the game. We have the opening cutscene, which we saw in my first episode. Good ending, which we did not get to see, we're going to watch that in a minute. Bad ending, we've watched that in my finale, since I didn't collect all the time stones. The pencil test, we'll do a quick video of that. It's basically just some anim, quick little pencil test, of course. See the early stages of this cutscene here. 
Sonic's skipping for water. Yep. Well, that was neat. Alright, well, now after that, we're gonna... But before I do that, I want to switch to the US version, because this is what the cutscene should have been listened to. I always stuck with the Japanese soundtrack just to play the game from, because that's the sa soundtrack I'm used to, but this is how you should watch the opening cutscene, so I'm going to be very quiet for this moment. That's what the cutscene should have had that song. If only you could combine the cutscene songs, the soundtracks together to mix them up. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, now we're going to rewatch. We're gonna watch the good ending, but with the Sonic Boom theme at the end. This is the ending you get if you collect all the time stones or destroy all the robot generators and the Metal Sonic clones. So we'll sit back, and I'm going to be quiet again for this good ending.
you're too cool. Why thank you, game? In case you didn't know, I did that. I did an entire never play through collecting all those time stones. So, yeah. And that was up to do the customs. We just rewatched the bad ending, we just be with the sonic boom theme we just listened to. But yeah. Now we're gonna go into sound test. This is where actually you listen to the entire soundtrack. And sound effects. So you can just listen to Heart's Desire. This is actually the US version. As the game over, jingle. It's extremely creepy. But, yep. Yeah. And. Now, for the final extra, you can unlock stage select. Stage select allows you to. Well, by its name, select any stage you want from the game. You can also decide which way you want to go. You can go to present, past, good future, or bad future. Your choice to start off with. So we'll start off with... So you can literally start off with bad future. And I'm actually listening to the US soundtrack. This. This jingle is actually pretty nice. So it's pretty interesting, you can actually switch between different states of time you wanted to start off the stage if you do stage select. And it doesn't stop there, you can just keep progressing through the levels like this, which is pretty cool. Well, yeah, I just wanted to show this off here. Let's see how far I can go. It's kind of stinks you can't just switch between pills when you're doing the stage select, it could have been pretty interesting. But what do I know? we'll listen to the US jingle thing. Sounds like a news report. Breaking news! Sonic got through Zone 1. That was fantastic. I'm here by the scene. Actually it does go back to present though, after that. So after that I would just recommend just exiting out and just going back from there. So if you ever want to replay a stage that you really enjoyed playing and just kind of wanted to have fun, you can just switch for stages, but too bad you can't just like, you have to keep progressing, you can't just like, you have to exit completely out and manually go back from here. But yeah, I guess for a, a Kickstarter I'll get to show off a little cool uh, little easter egg you can actually do to Sonic in this game delete the whoops did not mean to go there okay sorry about that quick little cut I had to I switched back to Japanese soundtrack because since we already listened to the game of ring we're gonna probably listen to it again so what we're gonna do is delete this file that I don't need make a new game and now we're gonna show off what happens when you keep Sonic we don't need to see that we already saw that cutscene now we're going to wait for about three minutes, so I will see you there when the three minutes are up. He's... Yep, Sonic literally says he's out of here, and then you instantly get a game over here. Because you waited too... Waited too long for him to not move, so he just sits there. He's like, uh, you're gonna go? He's like, out of here. Instant game over. So yeah. And that was all I wanted to show off there. What would happen if we went back to our file, actually? Uh, I'd just leave it there. But it's not like I'm going to play with that anymore, so delete. Sorry, Sonic, you died. All right. Oh, and to show it off, this is the file I used to collect the time stones and get the good ending. And that's how you also unlock Tails, like I said. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll go into the instructions and just kind of show off. In, I didn't show this off in the main LP, but I actually give you a little instruction manual, actually. I think it was from the original instruction manual. They put digitized it here. Tells you the story. Gives you the characters. 
I didn't mean to get back down. Up. Yeah, pretty much. This is your basic instruction manual controls. Your moves to get away. And your items. But that was pretty much it. And also, Sonic will also say when you close out of that. But, yep, yeah, that is it. That is it for Sonic CD. There's not much to really talk about because that is the game. But, and that was all my, that was my extras episode. But tune in next time because I soon will be creating a bloopers video with all my embarrassing audio problems. And I saved a bunch of those clips and I'm going to merge them all together. It's going to be actually pretty funny. I'm going to look back at this and I'm like, wow, this was actually a good time. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, all your likes and positive comments would be appreciated. Just leave them down below to your pleasure. And I will see you in my next video. See you guys later.